you said, you know, like now you'll, you, you want to take care of a guy because there's certain bad things that come with choosing the guy that has the money and can take care of you that way. Um, so, but you're choosing that, you know, like, like you're choosing that like broker guy or that more normal guy or whatever out of a, like a trauma response. It's coming because like you experienced something that hurts you and then that's why you're choosing that. And so there's, there's a problem with that though. And a lot of women are on that cycle. It's one of my favorite things I talk about because most women get into that same cycle where they want to play build a man or they take care of certain men. And it's because well, I, say I want to take care of, look, I'm, well, I'm yeah. in sickness and health type stuff. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> well, well, but, but so it all goes back to something though. That's like a fundamental issue in society today. And like, I'm not gonna, I'm, I, let me preface this. I'm not condoning cheating. I don't cheat. I'm in a relationship. I don't cheat. I don't say that guys should do mm -hmm. this. Um, but like the thing is, is that, uh, a high value guy is going to be highly sought after. And for all of history, mm -hmm. it's always been this way. Okay. And when we look at cheating, do you think cheating is the same between a man and a woman? Like no, if you cheat, I know it's not. yeah. So, so since it's not the same, you know, like if we look at the stats, it's like 80% of the women that cheat are, uh, they, they, like they want to be with the person who they're right. having an affair with. And it's for men, it's like 30%. It's mm -hmm. way, it's way less. So like, don't get me wrong. Um, sometimes he can cheat and it'll f up everything for you. And like, mm -hmm. it's because he's full going full there. But like, if he was fully taking care of you and then like that was completely separate. Um, I just kind of think those families should try to stay together the best mm -hmm. they can. Now, like it, it just depends how rude he was being about it. Like if he was like doing it in your face and like, I have a huge thing against simping and I think simping is just like, and I think that it would bother you a lot as a woman if a guy is giving his resources a lot to these women. Like, say, like, he's tricking off and he's spending a thousand dollars every time he f a girl or something like that would piss you off because that's you and your child's savings in the right. future. That, that's a lot of money, bro. Right. You know, so it's like that would piss you off. Or if he's taking a girl on multiple dinners or he's like paying for her apartment, it's like see, because you're emotionally getting attached to her then. And if you lose the emotional attachment, then you lose everything that you invested in him. And see, and that's the thing that was happening because it wasn't a one and done type of situation. My husband was having a five month long affair that I didn't know about. And this is only maybe four months after I'd just given birth to our second daughter. It's the emotional, so, it's the emotional loss that you'll have. That's dangerous mm -hmm. to you and your fa and your kids. It's right. dangerous to both of y'all. And I saw money leaving yeah. and like the stuff you said, like I saw money leaving. I'm like, okay, where's it going? Yeah. It, it, I, I'd always, I always talk about this. I always bring this up. Like there's, there's reasons why a woman will leave a guy who's cheating. And it's because he's not just physically f***ing the girl and coming yeah. back. Cause you might've accepted, yeah. you might've been like, you know what? Fuck it. But, but like him going and doing like losing investment. Like my big thing is just like, you can't lose, like, you can't give out your money, energy, attention, and time when you have kids. Yeah. When you have kids that are your responsibility. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Well, uh, 